What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Gyarados team that can push you guys to the master tier. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Got to give a huge shout out to everybody who has been watching the videos and everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. It really does go a long way. So again, thank you guys so much. But like I said, we're rocking out with Gyarados today and Gyarados has been one of my favorite Pokemon ever since it's been released in Gen 1. I just love his design and I also love its typing of flying and water. And then paired up with these, this team, I think Gyarados is going to be really strong. I haven't tried out this team on the rank ladder yet or even practiced with it. I'm just hopping into today's video, hoping to grab some wins with Gyarados. But with that out the way, we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with that Gothitelle. It has the Shadow Tag and the Eye Papa Berry, Hypnosis, Heal Pulse, Fake Out, and Protect for its four moves. It's really good paired up with the Zoomerel, considering Zoomerel has Parasong and Gothitelle has Shadow Tag. It just works hand in hand. Second Pokemon is going to be that Gyarados, Intimidate and Life Orb with Waterfall, Terror Blast, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Very solid Pokemon, very great Pokemon on the physical attack side, and it can also drop physical attack stats to opposing Pokemon with that Intimidate ability. Third Pokemon is going to be King Gambit, and King Gambit has been phenomenal in this game as of recently, especially due to its typing and its move pool. Like its typing is Dark and Steel, there's not too many weaknesses to that, and it can kind of counter up on a lot of its own weaknesses, considering like, you know, Dark super effective to Fairy, or Fairy super effective to Dark, but it's also Steel type, so it can counter up on Fairy type, so... Again, typing is really well with them, plus its ability is amazing with Defiant, kind of countering up on Intimidate Pokemon. It has the Soul Vest as item to make it a bit more bulkier on the special defense side, then it has Kowtow Cleave, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, and Brick Break for a great moveset. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Amoongus, and Amoongus you really can't go wrong with on any team. It does good in Trick Room, it does good without Trick Room. This one has Regenerator and the Wiki Berry as its item and ability, and it's rocking a normal moveset of Palm Puff, Spore, Rage Powder, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be that Azumarill, and we already mentioned that this Azumarill has Parasong, and that's going to be really good at countering the Donzo teams. It has Sap Sipper, it has the Citrus Berry, and then Shrike and Aqua Jet, Sing, Parasong, and Protect for its four moves. Final Pokemon is probably going to be arguably the strongest starter for ranked double battles. It's going to be Meet Alskarada over here with Protean and the Choice Band as its item. Pairing the Choice Band with Protean, you could do a crazy amount of damage, which I absolutely love. It has Flower Trick, Knock Off, Brick Brick, and U Turn for a wonderful moveset for any choice band Meowskarada. But guys, that's the team preview. If you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this master tier Gyarados team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Florgus team. Florgus is a really cool Pokemon. It is a fairy typing, and I actually was going to showcase Florgus in the video. I'll probably get to that soon. But they also have Arcanine for Intimidates, then rocking out with Grimmsnarl. Uh, King Gambit of their own, Hydreon, Florgus, like we already mentioned, and Palafin. So I can definitely see Palafin as a potential lead just to flip turn out. And with that going on, I could actually just fake it out with Gothitelle and dump on it with, say, like Miascarada. I don't think Miascarada is a bad choice here. I really don't think it's a bad choice. I mean, he could go into Arcanine. That would be my only problem, would be Arcanine coming out here. But we do have to find King Gambit. So do I, instead of leading the fake out user, do we straight lead, like, Gambit and Miascarada. That's why I was fast, but like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. What's your speed, Gambit? What is your speed, kind sir? It's gonna be 71. I think we just go in with the lead that we said, and then we also go in with uh, Gyarados. Do we kill Gyarados? Yeah, I like Gyarados, and I like Gambit in the back end. I really like all these Pokemon. Actually, the problem with uh. Palafin would be actually let's actually lead Gambit because the problem with Palafin if we go into a fake out user would be I'm gonna bring a Moogus instead of Gothitelle but the problem with uh leading Gothitelle instead of Gambit is instead of faking out they're just gonna hard swap out so there's really no point to go into a fake out that's usually what I do like if I see a fake out user on the field and I'm using Palafin I'll hard swap instead of just like uh, trying to flip turn because we know they're going for that fake out or I could read that and go into a fake out on another slot, but I'd rather lead the Defiant Pokemon, just in case he wants to lead the Intimidate Arcanine. Let's see. There it is. There it is. Great swap out from us. That is lovely. We are going to take some, uh, we are going to take some, what's it called here? What is it even called? An attack drop on my, uh, on my Meowskarada. So I'm just going to U-turn out of here into the Grimmsnarl, and then from here, I could eventually Brick Break. I kind of want to Thrasalize into Fairy. 
and just drop a big time Kowtow Cleave in that Arcanine. Because I can legit kind of get rid of that, uh, that Grimstone whenever I want with an Iron Head. Again, we're going to be plus one because it's Defiant. So I'd rather go after the Arcanine. And I can always brick break screens if he wants to set up screens. So I'm just going to Thrash Slice here. I'm going to roll out strong. Nice little Fairy Thrash just so we're not weak to uh, this Fire Shot coming in here. Chances are the Fire Shot's coming in here, right? Makes the most sense. Big out comes out on me, Ascarada. Okay, if you take out me, Ascarada, that's kind of fine. Let's Kowtow Cleave and get some stuff done. Oh, but no. Kidding me? We're going to get burned? That kind of hurts soul. Big time burn from him. It's big time burn. Kowtow Cleave, how much damage are you doing? Not bad damage. It would have done... I think it'd like double that damage if it wasn't burned. But yeah, definitely have to pivot with the U-turn here. Get that, uh... Get that off of me. And then I might just go after Grimstar here. I could take out screens eventually with Brick Break, but, uh... I have to U-turn out here. I'm just gonna Iron Head. I'm gonna double down into this Pokemon. Let's see how he plays one. He might even swap Dark Knight this turn. Or he might stick with a Flare Blitz take me out. You never know. But I do have Gyarados. I do have Gyarados, which is going to work really, really well up against the Arcanine. Then I also have the, uh, I brought the Moongus. So I'd rather save the Miyazaki Rata for a later turn. So if I can U-turn out of here, pop into the Gyarados, I can intimidate probably that physical attack on Arcanine. Sometimes they're special attacking, but we're going to hope that's physical. But it's just straight up hard swaps. So that ain't bad. So we get to see who his Pokemon is and then go into our shots. We'll see. So he's going to hard swap into Gambit of his own. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. We're going to go for a U-turn. We Protean. We change to a Bug type. And we're going to chip up a little bit of damage. So not bad damage. We're going to hope that this Iron Head could actually KO. Because this Pokemon is going for a Fairy Shot, it seems like. And I can't Defiant that. I cannot Defiant that, which sucks, man. I mean, I could straight up outspeed and just go for Waterfalls. But I would Defiant pop that. Or I can go into you and try to Spore you. That could be a solid turn to go for the Spore. But this sucks, man. Dude, <laughs> he brings out the Defiant Pokemon. Um, hmm. I'd rather just go into Amoogus here. I'd rather just go into Amoogus at this point. Iron Head's going to chip up a little bit of damage. It's not going to do bad damage. It might even KO. It does not KO. That one hurts soul. And he's probably just going for a Spirit Break. Yep. The Spirit Break goes over into my Amoogus. We soak that up all day. It's no problem. He's going to get that special attack drop, which, again, isn't a problem for me. Hmm. So I'm thinking I'm just sporing up on this, uh, on the U. And then just brick breaking into you just in case you want to set up screens this turn and killing you at the same time. That's going to be my play. Might even Thrasalize the Gambit here, but I don't really see that happening. That's going to be my play. We're going to try to put this thing to sleep because he cannot kill me in one shot unless he's like flying Thrasalize with Terra. He's going to end up tricking me. What are you giving me? What item are you giving me? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Which items with me? He's going to give me the Lagging Tail. Who'd you give that to? My Gambit? Yes, you take my Gambit. How dare you? Brick break comes through here. Gonna KO. So we KO you. We still have speed. Actually, how are we faster than him? Than that gambit. Kind of a little weird, right? That is a little weird, right? We end up sporing. I think we hard swap a Moongus right now. Because I think he goes back into Arcanine. And once he hard swaps a Moongus, we could go in for the Intimidates. Huh. Hmm. It's the play here. What is the play here, Jeans? I think I have to bring out Gyarados. Or I can bring out my Miascarada. Miascarada is not bad here at all. I want to get rid of that Gambit. It's plus one. And Kowtow Cleave can start doing a crazy amount of damage. There's an Apalafin. So Flip Turn obviously coming in here for the Intimidate. That kind of hurts. I think I still need a Hard Swap here. Hmm. I'd rather go into Miascarada. I would rather go into Miascarada here. And then do I start doing damage over onto you? I think so, right? I think I should start chipping up as much damage as I can. Because we know the Flip Turn's coming in hot. We know the flip turn's coming in high. I could have just spored the Arcanine, but I don't want to be a spore spammer. <laughs> I really don't want to be this. That guy. I really don't want to be that guy. We're going to hard swap in the mask around. Flip turn's going to come in hot. Can we eat that? We don't eat that. That one kind of hurts because Arcanine is obviously coming back out here. He's going to intimidate me. I have to, I'm forced to throw out Gyarados, too. So he's going to get off intimidate on both of us. Oh, that is real ugly. And then we're going to have to deal with Palfin later. No bueno. No bueno whatsoever. No good. As long as we can keep that Gambit to one more turn sleep, I wouldn't mind. Because how much HP is Arcanine at? Oh, actually, Arcanine will not intimidate my my Gyarados, which is big. Arcanine will not intimidate my Gyarados. I like that. I dig that. 
Leftovers coming out from here? Yeah. Arcanine's holding the leftovers. This is a solid battle. This is a solid battle, but it seems like... Oh, we still have Amoongus. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to waterfall that Arcanine and then maybe just Flower Trick or swap into the Amoongus. Amoongus can be useful here. Big time Intimidate. Defiant, obviously, popping. We might have to double down on that Pokemon. I have to double down. I am going to go into fighting type. I'm going to deal as much damage as I can. I could read that protect from the Arcanine. Hmm. Arcanine might protect here. I'm going to go straight after the Gambit. I'm going to read a protect here. I'm going to hard read this protect. Or he might even Thrasalize. You never know. But if I can get rid of this Gambit, that'd be really nice. That'd be really nice. It's the fine pop. So it's plus one. It is plus one on the field. I'm just looking to double down and get off as much damage as I can. Potentially take it out. I can handle the Arcanine later in the turn. But we'll see how much damage my Pokemon are really going to do this thing. I think it might be able to KO. We're going to Protean switch. The Fighting type. And oh my god, I love you, Meow. <laughs> Meow's Garada with that choice ban. Even minus one. So Waterfall's going to slide over. That is huge. That is huge. You actually outspeed me. That hurts the soul just a little bit. But still, we're life for it. We should be able to chunk up a nice amount of damage. And I think I have to swap into uh, Arcanine. And, or not Arcanine. Uh, Amoongus at this point. We almost KO. I am going to swap into Amoongus here. Even if he is going to go for a will o -Wisp, Or not will o -Wisp, A Flare Blitz. Because Flare Blitz would still take it out. So I'm going to swap my Mias Gravata. Get it back to its stats full. And uh, we can change its typing to potentially Sucker Punch this Palfin. But Palfin is going to be a problem. We already know Palfin's going to be a problem. We already know Palafin's going to be a problem. This is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. So it does have Jet Punch. And I'm just going to straight up Hard Swap. I have to Hard Swap. I don't think U-Turns are play. Because we are straight Fighting type, but Jet Punch would probably KO us. I'm going to swap you. And I would love to Dragon Dance, but I am just going to protect. I would love to Dragon Dance, but I'm going to protect. He still has his uh, Thrasalization, which I think he Terrors the Palafin into water. Dude, this is... This battle is insanely good. This battle is way too good. Way too good of a battle. But that Arcanine is real speedy. It's kind of annoying me. You bring back out the lovely Amoongus. Protects can come out from Arcanine. I'm cool with that. You have to be going after Gyarados, right? Actually, probably going after Miascarada at this point. With a water move that we're f now that we're fighting type. Let's see. Ice Punch. Come on, now. Did you read the swap? Did you read the swap? I could have stayed in. I could have probably ate that shot up. I could have probably ate that shot. Okay, so I was hoping we could survive that turn and then just go into a follow me and potentially set up a dragon dance. But now we're here. I could sucker punch, which I'm really leaning towards. I'm really leaning towards a sucker punch for the KO onto the, uh, the KO onto the Arcanine, right? What do I sucker punch into? Oh, I don't have sucker punch that. That, that, that hurts soul. He's obviously gonna ice punch me. Oh no. I wish I had protect. I have nothing to do here. He's gonna outspeed me all day, right? That's probably choice. This might be choice, right? Potentially choice. I guess I'll go for a flower trick. My best bet, right? And then just take out you. It's my best bet to go into a flower trick here. We outspeed. Oh, we outspeed. That's game. That's game set match. GG. GG. Let's go. What a first match. What a first match. That's GG. Wow, Miyasuka is just, just stepping all over this thing. I thought the thing's going to outspeed me. Nope. Nobody does. You can't take out my Gyarados. It's over with. You're going to end up flamethrowing me. So I guess he was going after my uh, my Gyarados with that Palafin. But everything works out perfect. Miyasuka takes out the Palafin with a Flower Trick. Waterfall comes out here from the Gyarados. And yo, what a first battle. I love a good long drawn out battle. Especially for the first battle of the video. Second battle coming at you guys, going up against a Tinkaton and Annihilate team with Double Dragon, Hydreigon, and Garchomp, and then he's got Murkrow and Amoongus both for support Pokemon. I can definitely see the Murkrow being a lead, so I could actually fake that out and just get rid of it with, like, say, like, uh, what's called could actually get rid of it. This is Rider right here. Miascarada does work all around on pretty much any Pokemon, but a Pokemon that I'm kind of worried about is going to be that Annihilate. Annihilate could definitely be a problem. I don't really know how I should get after that. I mean, I could go into you. Maybe Rage Powder that move, or even protect the Pokemon, and then just Spore it? That, that, that could work. But if he final Gambits me, hmm. 
I'm trying to think. Yeah, Amook is probably our, our best lead. I am going to go in with Gyarados too, just so I can potentially set up a Dragon Dance turn one. And then got to bring Miyazaki Island back in. I wish it did have Sucker Punch because it is absolutely amazing. And then I'm thinking of just going into you. The reason I want to go into you is because you have a Terrasalize of Fairy Typing and you can dodge Dragon moves. See, I'm kind of digging that. It's pretty, yeah, it's the same team, just different order. Same team, just different order, which I'm really digging. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Let's go back to back here in battle number two. But like I said, that first battle was absolutely amazing. Nice long drawn out. Our opponent was swapping. I was swapping. I was making good plays. They were making good plays. But my plays were a tad bit better because we ended up picking up that W. He burned two of my Pokemon. Two of them. And I still made it out of that battle alive, which is absolutely amazing. Thanks to me, Oscar Vada. But a Night Lake does come out here. What I was worried about. He could fake me out. No problem. Um, Can I Rage Pound or fake out? That's a real question. I don't know if I can. Own Tempo with Tinkaton. And is this thing Defiant? This thing might be Defiant. Might be a terrible turn for us. Yeah. Real bad turn from us. Uh, I can definitely see him still gambiting. I think I have to... I think I have to spore you. And I'm just going to protect you. I'll wait till next turn. If he gambits me, he gambits me. That's totally fine. We'll see what he wants to do here. He, he might stay in at this point. Just for the fake out. Nice protect by me. Beautiful. Get a big time block. Big time block. And what are you going for? Substitute. That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right at all. Can we? I don't think we put you to sleep. That no bueno. No good. This is no good. Yo, annihilate Brock and substitute. No good. This looks awful. Um, I guess I'll just start rage pattern shots. Really want to D dance, but I cannot. Hmm. Do I take off the sub or do I start going after Tinkathon? I might Terrasalize next turn. If I can get rid of the sub, I can Terrasalize and just get after that thing. He subbed up. I'm gonna Waterfall. This should take it out, right? Does it sub the fade? Is, uh, does it sub or fade the sub suit? It does. Thank you. Thank you. Get the thing out of here. <laughs> that could have been rough. Rage Fist coming in here. That's fine. It's fine by me. Pretty solid eats by him. I can always swap him out. He goes for Gigaton Hammer. That's fine. Does that lower stats or anything? I forget what, like, isn't there, like, recoil to it? There's, there's something that, that happens after that, that use. Or is it just that strong? It might just be that strong. But from here, I could, uh, I think I would have to bring out, like, you or something, right? Or I can go into you. You're not too bad. Both you guys just... This is rough for both of us. Gyarados did go first, so I could just flying to Aslice, pick up the KO, and then maybe just twist to a flower trick here, right? Hmm. I think I'm about that. I think I'm all about that. I know Gyarados has speed. I can change to a flying type, get rid of Annihilate because we outspeed Annihilate all day, and then just flower trick you, right? I could go for a knockoff. Get rid of the item. I'm thinking of just flower tricking. Just getting off as much damage onto this thing. And then just taking out the Annihilate. Because this should be able to take out Annihilate. So again, Gyarados does outspeed, which is beautiful. Just straight up withdrawals Annihilate. That's fine. Annihilate with the withdrawal. He's going to go into Amoogus. Oh, that's that's fine. That's fine. I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that. We have a flying Gyarados coming out here. <laughs> that's not, not a bad turn from us. Not a bad turn. So he saves the Annihilate. It's not choice banned, it's leftovers. So, we know it's not like crazy, like, it's not, it's not like Final Gambit strat. It's not the choice guard for normal Final Gambit kind of thing. So, we go into a flower trick. Protean transforms us into straight grass. We're gonna hit up on you. And do a nice chunk of damage with that choice ban. Do a nice, lovely chunk of damage. Terror Blast comes through here. Probably not KOing the Moogus, but picking up a nice chunk of damage here. Maybe Trick and Barry. Or just KO and Gyarados, I love you. You're my best friend. You're my best friend ever. <laughs> the Moogus drops out here. Tinkaton is a problem. Always a problem with this Gigaton hammer. Play rough. That's that, that sucks too, but good thing we swapped the straight grass typing. That's solid from us. Um Yeah, just had the straight waterfall at Tinkathon. Garchomp's gonna come out here. Garchomp is a problem. It is it is indeed a problem. But if I were trick that thing, I think that's our best bet. I could double down and chop. I'm thinking of doing. I'm definitely thinking of doubling down and chomp. I'm gonna 
double down chomp and the reason i want to do that is because i feel like my uh my kowtow cleave pokemon my king gambit could really get after his tinkathon so if i get rid of the guard chomp that would be lovely that'd be a solid turn that'd be a real solid turn i could have swapped the Gyarados for intimidate later but i really don't want it in the back end because obviously that's defiant pokemon i really don't want to pop that but we know what three pokemon are left dude we're having some great battles Okay, and he reads my protect, or he reads my double down, you son of a biscuit. <laughs> Bruh, come on now. Come on now. That one hurts his soul. That, that might have did him so well. He's going to take out my Miyasuke right here, unless he misses his player off. Or he just goes straight for a Gigaton Hammer. Yeah, that hurts. That, that definitely hurts. That hurts. That one hurts. That one hurts. Now we got to bring out the Gambo. Gambo Bambo. I might double down to that thing again. I have Kowtow Cleave. I do. I think Sucker Punch and... I think a big fat Sucker Punch and Waterfall could KO this thing. He might even Terrasalize here, which would suck. That would be awful. Because he can protect Pop and EQ all day. But I don't know if Tinkatons Rock can protect. I feel like a lot of Tinkatons don't. But I don't see why not. Okay, cool. He does not. We go into that. Can this waterfall KO? Rough skin. Ooh. I think Garchomp about speeds by Gyarados. Which it does. We're able to eat. As long as we don't get this flinch on us, we might have a shot. And we get the flinch. Tough, tough second battle. Play rough comes in here. That hurts soul. That's going to be GG's. Nothing we can do about that one. Nothing we can do about that one. Great protect by him. Really took the upper hand after that protect. Land a nice little flinch on us. We're going to end up losing battle number two. But battle number two was a close battle all around. I'm going to run it. And you guys know the deal. We're going to grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a team that I have versed before. It is the Arm Rouge and Mousehold combo team. You can proc the weakness policy. Proc the weak armor. And then kind of just go from there. It also has Indeedee to get the Psyche Surge. Can pop Expanding Force with the Arm Rouge. And then it's Amoongus, Annihilate, and Salmon. Salmon's usually rocking Intimidate. So it could go into a Pokemon like you. Not too bad. I could go into a Pokemon like you. I could Terrastalize there too, but I have to watch out for that Gambit. That Gambit is such a pain. It really is. Final Gambit is just the worst thing ever. So I could go into a Moongus here and maybe just Rage Powder the Gambit, which I'm kind of leaning towards, and then going into a Pokemon more so like uh, Meowskarada, because I can always U-turn out. <clears throat> so I'm liking that. Actually, no, I'd rather go into Gambit. And the reason I would rather go into Gambit... Actually, do I want to go into Gambit? Hmm. I think I'd rather go into Miascarada just so we can U-turn out. And then bring Gyarados in the back end. Yeah, and then we'll bring Gambit. Yeah, I think I'm with that. I think I'm with that. We're not going to use Gothitelle or Azumarill today. I feel like they're very situational. You know, they're, it's a Parasong combo. It's kind of good for the Donzos. And like, I don't know, stop and trick him stuff. But it's just like, mm. It's just very situational. So we're just going to bring in the same squad. Look for a win here in match number three. And look to grab ourselves a winning record. But the first two battles have been absolutely amazing. Long, drawn out. We've been playing pretty solid. And our opponents have been playing solid as well. But that last match, the, double, the protect, reading my double attack, really did me dirty. After that, it was pretty much GG's. I kind of knew it was over from there. We ends up leading these two. That's not a bad lead. I kind of kind of saw that coming a little bit. And I can U-turn out with Miyasuko. It's going to be a solid play. So, uh, I would think he's going after. I would think he would be going after Miyasuko Rada, right? And I can just U-turn, and I can also support if I want to. Could also rage power the shot, but I'm just gonna spore. I'm gonna go for a spore on the armories, and I'm just gonna go for the U-turn, pivot out, and try to KO this me out or this Indeed at the same time. Which I think there's a high chance of us doing it, unless it's Sash, right? Just think, if we could pick up the KO, bring in Gyarados, hoping that the armories will shoot a fire shot into my Miascara slot while we bring in Gyarados, and then since we KO the Indeed, if it's not Sash, we could just put the armories to sleep. Sounds like a lovely turn, doesn't it? Sounds amazing. Sounds lovely. But we'll see. We'll see. They probably have a few tricks up them, their sleeves. Maybe Terrasalize in here. You never know. But I could definitely see the follow me coming out. Oh, no follow me. Nothing. No follow me. Can we KO here? All day, baby. Yo, Miascarada hits like a truck with Protean and the Choice Band. Just too much damage for a lot of Pokemon to handle. So again, we pick up the KO, which is beautiful. I'm predicting a fire shot going into Miascarada. So I can swap it to my water Pokemon, and then we can just put this thing night-night. I mean, 
or melatonin right down the sink's throat. <laughs> <laughs> so Intimidate comes out here, special attacking, expanded force pop and said that might KO my Amoongus. It does not, yo, Amoongus, let's go. He's a dog, he's a dog, he came to play. He came to play. Amoongus came to play, eating his Weaky Berry, which is money, spores his Night Night, hitting this dude over the head with a brick. <laughs> Knocking him out. Night Night, dude, Night Night. So Arm Rouge is down for the count for probably two turns. I would say two turns. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a lucky one turn. But that's just my luck. I wonder what Pokemon to pull it out next. I'm surprised they didn't pop a Trick Room. I feel like Trick Room should have been the play. Expanded Force wasn't a bad play, though. Amoongus comes out here. Seems like an easy... Seems like an easy swap regenerator into you. And then a potential D-Dance here. Actually, no. We Terrasalize and we take this thing out. Terrasalize and we get rid of the Amoongus, right? I feel like that's money play. We swap Amoongus, he gets HP back to do its ability. Regenerator. So it was at 100. I think it gets like... It's gonna get a decent amount. Let me bring out Miascarada back out here. We're gonna we're gonna say Arm Rouge does not wake up here, right? I don't even think it can, because it hasn't been asleep the whole time. We're gonna tear it into flying. We're gonna finish off that Amoongus. This should KO the Amoongus. It should say Night Night Amoongus, you gone. The beautiful little bit of balloons. Little bit of balloons. It's gonna Rage Pattern. It don't matter. It, it don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. We're just out reading. We're in this dude's head all day. We Terra Blast here. We say, see you later, alligator. Get on out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we are killing it this third battle. We are killing it. Making some great calls, great swaps. And we still have Amoongus pretty much going back to full HP. It should have a lot more HP. This thing's automatically slumped. Um, I could U-turn again if I want to. I could definitely U-turn again if I want to. I can do a lot. I can do a lot. I got, I, I got this. I got this, guys. I got you guys. Uh, and I like, uh, a little scary. <laughs> Definitely a little scary. But I don't see Amoongus' HP. It's 73 HP. That's lovely. It's gorgeous. We don't have a sucker punch, but I'm obviously going to choice into a knockoff here. And then I'm just going to pop a waterfall. Plays all day. Plays all day. If uh, that thing's choice, you could just close combat me. Maybe I should have. No, I can't Terrasalize. I was going to say, maybe I should have Terrasalize. But I can see him sending his on to his uh, Annihilate right now. We do have Sucker Punch in the back end, so if he stays Ghost Typing, I'll just Sucker Punch knock that thing out. Actually, no, it's going to be neutral because he's Fighting Type, too. Okay. Not terrible positioning, but could be better. Again, we still have a Moonga, so I can always uh, Rage Powder out with that thing, but I have to get rid of this Arm Rouge here, or at least get off some damage onto it. But there's the Terrasalization. <clears throat> I figured it would go onto the Annihilate. Maybe the Arm Rouge? No, it's going to stick onto the Annihilate, and he's going to go straight into a Fire Typing. Not bad. I have Gyarados out on the field. It all depends if this thing is choice and outspeeding me. Knockoff comes in hot here. We're going to switch into dark. I'm going to hit up on you. And oh my damage. Oh my damage. We take off its leftovers too. He's going for a Rage Fist. That's KOing me. I don't know why he did switch into fire. It seems like to just dodge that knockoff damage was his play. And Arm Rouge is still going to be asleep. Right? Arm Rouge don't wake up. Cool. Arm Rouge is asleep. I can easily bring out Amoongus. Uh, that is going to be an annoying Pokemon. Do I give her the Annihilate? I feel like I have to start attacking this, uh... It's Arm Rouge. I feel like I have to start attacking this Arm Rouge. It's a Fire-type Pokemon up against my two Grass and my Steel-type Pokemon. So I, have to, I have to go after this thing. I have to go after armors. Because once I bring out my, uh... Once I bring out my King Gambit, I can legit just Sucker Punch. This thing is low enough HP that we can just Sucker Punch KO. Sometimes it doesn't get too much leftovers, but... I think we should be fine. This thing's still asleep. I apologize that we hit this thing over the head with a brick. Three turns sleep. We're gonna rage pad these shots. And we're just gonna go from here. Knockoff might be able to actually pick up KO. I think it will... Yeah, night night, cool. That's GG's. It's game game set match. Gene just won it all. Gene just took home the trophy. He had a weak spot too. That's why I was surprised it didn't go into anything. He goes for a drain punch. That is That is no, nothing. That is nothing. And we can rage powder knock off. This match is over. Winning record for you guys. I got you guys. Like I said, I got you guys. We'll throw another knockoff. We'll go into another rage powder. Playing this one perfectly. And our opponent cancels the third battle.
What a set of battles for today's video. Had three amazing matches. Got to showcase Gyarados on the rank ladder. Alongside with Miascarada yet again. That choice band Miascarada low key was the MVP of today's video. Absolutely tearing through teams. But Gyarados also did some work alongside with the other Pokemon, King Gambit and Amoongus. Didn't get to showcase Scottel or Azumarill in today's video. But again, they're very situational due to the Paris Song combo. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.